playlist. That was rough, I know. Trying to change up our scenery today. Stay motivated, stay hungry. So we're gonna go test out another gym. Uh, just to, like I said, just to change it up. And this is what we're running into. We already changed our mind on what gym we're going to because of traffic. Now we're fighting back through it. But we're having a little conversation about that. That it might be an inconvenience for us right now, but I think there's a wreck on the interstate, so if it's that bad that it's causing us bad of a detour, then obviously it's a bad wreck, so someone is probably really badly hurt or lost their life, and this minor inconvenience is nothing, so sometimes you just gotta roll with uh, the situation and make the best of it, and think about Stop all sides. So selfish. Stop being so selfish. About everyone. And unfortunately, that's the that's the world we live in. That well, I'm guilty of it. We've all been guilty of it, but it's the world we live in is that it's so fast-paced and get shit done, and if you're in my way, you're just in my fucking way. It doesn't matter why or who you are, so... And that's why everybody's so shitty to each other. Well, this is a perfect opportunity to take a step back and appreciate everybody in your life and people and what, what people do that you're not even related to or you don't even have in your life, but appreciate everyone's purpose, you know, because everyone's just like, what can you do for me? Yep. Oh, so on our way... I guess now we're going to go to Florence now, so get that done, get a good workout in, get back, get the kids, and then I'm going to go to work. Dana's going to keep grinding. So she does. Get shit done, so I'll video our workout and everything else. We haven't had any meals yet, or Dana's eating a Quest Bar right now, so. I felt sick. I had to have something. I'm still fasting. It's 10 o'clock. I'm still fasting, so. Get a workout in, then I'll have my first meal, which will probably be like a protein shake. Packed protein shake. And then take it from there. Long night, long day ahead. Stay focused. Stay motivated. I just want to add one little thing about how we treat each other in this world still. Uh, yesterday we went... Where did we go yesterday? Your doctor's appointment? Yeah. And they had a doctor's appointment yesterday, so we stopped at a gas station to get some gas and check the tires and stuff like that and uh, as I was going to go pay for my gas I found a credit card inside of the credit card slot at the gas pump like I never found anything like that before and didn't know what I was supposed to do but I did not feel comfortable enough to take it inside and just hand it to somebody else so in my opinion that was my responsibility now to take care of the situation so what I did is I got the number off the back of the credit card, called the company, entered told them what the, I did. But you entered in the digits. Yeah, entered in the card number, told them what happened. You know, they thanked me, they canceled the card, and asked me to destroy it. But how many people out there would have thought, oh man, free money, or just would have fucking took it and used it, or turned it in, not knowing what was going to happen to it, and then what if that person's shit got stolen just because of who you gave it to? I was like... I wanted to do the honest thing and the right thing, so that's what we did, is we called the company, canceled it, destroyed the card, so. Just think about if it has been you in the situation, or think about, stop being so selfish all the time, and start thinking about someone else for once, so. Just wanted to add that in there. Not to say, oh, I'm a good person, but just to say, like, that was an opportunity that some people would have taken. Social, it's social responsibility. Social responsibility. So many people out of there would have took advantage of that in a negative way, and I, that's the kind of shit that needs to stop. Shit's not yours. Fucking traffic is crazy. There's a little lunch being prepared, but here's a little life hack, a little bodybuilding food hack. 
Uh, this chicken's already been cooked. We cooked it I don't know, a few days ago. I cooked a whole bunch of it. Um, but it sucks reheating chicken. It's not very good, so what I do is I take the breast that I've already had cooked, I'll slice it up into little pieces and then put it in a skillet and kind of crisp it up some to give it another taste. And there's nothing on it, there's no oils, there's no nothing, it's just basically grilling the chicken, frying the chicken with nothing, just some seasoning, kind to brown it some, make it a little crispy and give it some more taste. So you know, I'll put some planks or chalupa on it. Totally makes it seem like uh, you just cooked it instead of getting it out of a microwave. And it doesn't take five minutes to do this because it's already cooked. You're just browning it. So. Having that for lunch, Dana had pre made chicken and rice with her new barbecue sauce that apparently she likes. It's Walden Farms, thick and spicy. Zero everything zero sugar, zero carbs, zero fat, zero calories. I had it the other day, it ain't too bad. I like barbecue sauce too much though to, to do that. I'll do hot sauce. I'm gonna do the chicken. I'll probably make this actually for my work meal. And right now I might eat some eggs because I don't have anything to eat yet. So I'm do some eggs. I had a protein shake already. Make some eggs. And that's it. There's our lunch. Trying to stay on this plane now that Dana's back. Get things going, get the business rolling. You know, Dana's getting ready to launch a new training program that's going to be fucking badass. So whoever wants to get on board, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a uh, lose weight for free. And it's lose weight for free. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put a plan together for you. Uh, you're going to pay, pay for it initially. Pay for whatever she comes up with on price and pay for a plan. Three days of personal training. Uh, a nutrition plan. And all you gotta do is be successful. Like, do the work, lose 20 pounds in a month, and it's all free. So, that's how much she cares about this. She's gonna offer this for free. Uh, just pay to start it, and then once you are successful and you do the work, you get your money back. So, all for free. Lose weight for free. It's pretty fucking awesome for her to do that. Uh, it's motivation because, you know, you pay for the cost to do it. But then if you're successful and you do what you're supposed to do and do the work and put in the time that she tells you to do and you just lose the weight or the goal that you're all setting, you get your money back. So it's motivation for you to do the work and for her, another way of helping people. So about to launch that soon, get everybody on board with that, so look out for that. Uh, more, more shit coming, more stuff coming. All right, we're gonna wrap it up, and Kevin's heading off for night shift, so he won't be back on. He has his chicken and his other food packed, and the weight training part's done, so I have cardio left. I may go to the park, and if I can't make it to the park since I have both kids, then we'll be doing it in here. So we'll see what happens there. And then I'm going in here, work with Tori for a couple, and then a meeting, and work on some coaching plans. So that's about it.